Hello. I bet this room's heard a lot of funny things. It certainly has. I like it. What, this room? Don't you? Not much to like about it, is there? How long are we gonna be in here? Well, that's hard to say. I quite see you wanna leave, though. No. You don't? Where would I go? Actually, I like to leave this room and never see you again in my life. Why? Just a bit in it too long. <coughs> well, where would you go? Somewhere. Secret? Yes. There's this great sea that I love. It's where the gods used to go bathe. What gods? Well, the old ones. Before they died. Gods don't die. Yes, they do. Anyway, there was a vision of a village I visited one night. It's where I'd like to live. All of life. Well, how would you know the Parker, though? You wouldn't have a room anymore. I wouldn't mind. I don't actually enjoy being a nosy Parker either. Then why do you do it? Because you're unhappy. So are you. I didn't mean that. Didn't you? Hey, is that how it works? Uh, you just say things without feeling it, but it's so quick. I told you, instant. It's wicked, isn't it? I mean, you could say anything under it. Ask me a question. Tell me about Jill. There's nothing to tell. Nothing? No. Okay, for example, she's pretty. You've never actually described her, you know. Is that right? Color hair. I don't know. Is it long or short? I don't know. You have to know that. I don't remember. I don't. Alan, look. Listen, you have to do this and now. I want you to tell me everything that happened with this girl. And not just tell me, show me. Act it out. Even more so than when I tapped the pencil. 
I want you to feel like you can free, feel free to do anything in this room. The pill will help you. I will help you. Where does she live? Near the stables. About a mile. It's called the China Pantry. When Daddy disappeared, she was left without a bean. She had to earn her own living. I must say, she did jolly well, considering she was never trained in business. What do you mean, disappeared? He ran off. <coughs> I never saw him again. Just left a note on the dressing table saying sorry. I've had it. Just like that. It threw her right off then. All my dates have to be sort of a secret. I mean, she knows that one, but I can never bring anyone home. She's so rude to them. She was always looking. At you? Saying stupid things. You've got super eyes. Anyway, she was the one who had them. There was an article in the paper last week saying more points about boys fasting than girls. They said the number one is wild. I think it's eyes every time. They fascinate you too, don't they? Me? Or is it the horse's eyes? What do you mean? I saw you staring at the nugget of eyes for ages. I spotted you through the door. Well, there must have been something in it. You're a real man, aren't you? It's almost like she knew. Did you ever hint? Of course not. I love horse's eyes. The way you can see yourself in them. Did you find them sexy? What? The horses. Don't adapt. Girls do. I mean, they go through a period when they kiss them and pat them up. I know I do. I guess it's just a substitute, really. That kind of thing all the time. Yes. Until one night. <laughs> she did it, not me. It was her idea, the whole thing. She got me into it. What are you saying? Uh, one night, go on from there. Saturday night. We were just closing up. How would you like to take me out? What? How would you like to take me out tonight? Uh, I've got to go home. What for? They expect me. I'm not going to be a good girl. I can't. Why? They expect me. Look, Alice, you go out tonight and have your time. Well, what do we do? The pictures. There's a skin flick over in Winchester. Have you ever seen one? No. What do you like to know? All those heavy, sweet skin in each other? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Go on, please. Can't stop there. I'm tired. I want to go to bed. Well, you can't. I want to hear about this film. Hear what? What? It was bloody awful. Why? Nosey Parker!